Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we are going to enter in a very dangerous part of our Let's Play. It is time to get to the final chapter of the game and work together with our team of Misaki and Toru. Enter the match. Alright, I'm ready to. Misaki? Ready. I can go anytime. Okay, let's head into Team Twilight Moon. Off to duel. Our first opponents is going to be Team Unicorn. I wonder how this game actually does it. Are we going to be able to play as all three characters? Uh, when one character dies, do I play as the next character? How does this work? Is it like the show or is it not? We haven't reached our goal yet. We have to win it all the way. Yeah. But if we're too late, then we lose by default. So let's hurry up and get to, to the pit area. Well, I got two kids watching. Oh, no, they're probably killed. Kellen probably pushed them off a cliff by now. Never mind, I don't have anyone watching at home for me, so I guess you people at home will have to be my viewers. So here we go. Toro, just breathe. Alright, I'm better. <laughs> uh, Masaki, she's just like, phew. Hey, why are you, are you nervous too? Yeah, of course she's nervous. We're both nervous. We're all nervous. We're going into the freaking WRGP. We're going to win this thing. I'm not calm at all. I don't know why you think I'm calm. I'm not calm. I'm actually terrified. I don't know how this is going to go. I feel like I'm, I'm going to lose. Uh, Cooper, you'll be last. And reason behind that, Cooper can keep his cool. So if we put him in the end, we should be able to... St okay, I get that. I'm the anchor of the team. So I get to see how you do. So the order is me, Misaki, and Cooper. Got it? Okay. You two better get ready. Ready. So it is going to be like, okay, you lose, then it's my turn. You lose, then it's my turn. Uh, I guess I'm allowed to walk around. So I got, I'm going to go check if I can rob some people. You know, right, right before the big race, I want to see if I can rob somebody. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything over here, actually. Maybe a star chip hiding somewhere? What's this? It's Team Unicorn's container. Messing with it would just be asking for trouble. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Team Unicorn is in this area, huh? There is data on Team Duel Runners and their lab, uh, lap times. It looks like careful research. What's that? There's something under the desk. Chiron. All right. I like Chiron. Problem with him is I already have him. <laughs> Still a good card, just already happen to have him. So let's go somewhere else. Let's try out the area to the right and see what they have to say. Uh, this is the other team's pit. You can't go in. Well, I, Team Unicorn stuff was on the left side, so... Can I go on the top side? No. Well, I guess I've already done everything I wanted to do then. Are you sure you're ready? I am ready. Let's enter the match. All right, let's go. I'll go ahead and finish them all off so you don't even have to worry. I highly doubt Toru could beat Team Unicorn. If I have to be honest, I think Team Unicorn will wipe Toru. Uh, Masaki's deck, I don't know if it's... You know, she has Honest. Maybe it's a little consistent. I don't know. Uh, Brio? Wait, they're leading off with Brio and not Andre? That's weird. That's so weird. They're always supposed to lead off with Andre. It's like part of their thing. Are you the Brio? We met the time at the Mountain Pass. That's true. We did fight Brio. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, disconnected for half a second. Don't worry about it. Connect, connect. And we're back. Hey, I remember you. Now I've got you. I can't wait to rip you to shreds. Is what I would say at one time, but now that's not important. All that's important is my team's victory. You thought you were the king of the mountain. I'll show you I've changed since we've dueled. Okay, cool. So this is more of a story since we actually did have a connection with Brio earlier in the game. Let's see if we could take down um, him in this one. Now, obviously, I think Toru's going to lose. I'm glad we get a cutscene out of this. So Toru is faster, actually. Good on him. So he gets to go first. Toru takes the first corner. The duel starts with Toru making... Really? Really? You're going to disconnect during the big final stuff? That's when you feel like disconnecting, huh? All right. Heh. <laughs> You're faster than you used to be. Told you. Now I'm going to go ahead and win this thing. Duel. Well, the duel up. Why is he in front of you now? Toru unleashes a relentless attack. Ryo can only defend, but he's looking for a chance to strike. Brio pulls off an amazing combo. You just sent 10 cards from Toru's He is the deck out, Brio. That's the one I like. Brio's turn is finally over. Now it's Toru's turn again. But wait. Your deck is out of cards. You can't draw. You lose. Oh, he beat Toru with strategy. That's brutal. Brio's deck destruction strategy was a success. Brio is victorious in the first duel of the match. Toru is being replaced by their second duelist, Misaki, in the pit area. All right, Misaki. I've never seen you race before, so go for it. Sorry I lost, Misaki. It's up to you now. No problem. Yeah, did you not build your scrap deck around a deck out deck? Sorry, Cooper. But hey, I know you guys will win. We got this. Damn it. We always, we started with our weakest member. That's on us. That is on us. I like her dual runner. I'll show you. It's a Kirby dual runner. I'll show you what we can do. Uh, we're going to win this. 
Well, let's see how she does against him. Hisaki goes for a quick attack to counter against Brio's deck destruction strategy, but Brio won't be defeated easily. He destroyed all of Misaki's monsters. Direct attack chance. Go Boltic Bicorn. You actually got the Bicorn out. Oh, crap. I don't think so. Oh, she's got a plan too. What? No! Magic Cylinder! Yeah. Alright, Misaki's able to beat Brio. Oh, does that mean she has to fight Andre? Andre, it's up to you now. They're better than I thought. Don't get caught off guard. Yeah, usually Andre wrecks three people by himself. In fact, I saw him beat, like, Jack and um, Akiza. So, you know, he's pretty crazy. Uh, let's see if he can take out Misaki, though. This will be a real test of Misaki's power level. I could say the same thing. Okay, let's, let's see how you do. Suddenly that guy's in front. What amazing card play we're seeing here today. I'm sorry that we're not going to be... So they're not going to show us the amazing card play, but we get to see the race at least. Uh, Misaki lost to Andre. Ah. Uh. Alright, which means I may have won, but I never expected it to be this difficult. Which means I have to take out two duelists by myself. You take care of the rest. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'll take care of two duelists all by myself. Nice job, Misaki. You did great. Let's just leave it up to Cooper now. Cooper will win. You did, like, damage him at least, right? So I'm not going to have to do some craziness. Ooh, look at, look at the scene. Alright, cool. Sorry, but I'm ending the match on my turn. Team Twilight Moon is down to their last duelist. Can they make a comeback win? Let's find out right now. Oh, my God. All right. So, here we go, everybody. It's time for me to start Turbo Duel. Oh, shit. There are already cards on the field. He has his Thunder Unicorn out. And how many speed counters do I get to start with? Probably none, huh? All right. Well, uh, what are my back row cards? Speed, one for one. Well, if I didn't get to start with any speed counters, that doesn't matter. Speed, MST, which can only destroy my speed one for one. And this card is normal summon. You could get, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have any machines at the moment. And I did draw a lot of great trap cards. I just can't use them currently. So I'm going to go ahead and summon my Breaker. Breaker's going to get himself one of them counters. Uh, we're going to set up Raigeki Break. This is cool that they already have the field set up because that is, like, at least interesting. Um, my opponent, there's no way they got a six counters for Heavy Storm. Where, do, where can I see speed counters? You know, I've never I've never actually asked that question. I should probably find that out. Um, I have destroyed what looks like a possum of some sort. Yep, that is a possum. And I'm just going to end my turn because I cannot beat the unicorn. So let's see exactly what this guy's planning. Because I might want to magic cylinder him since he is already damaged. In fact, he only has 2,000 life points left. So this is a pretty interesting situation for me to be in. So, Mr. 2,000 life points, let's see how much you can do to me. I'm afraid... Why do you have Scrap Beast? Wait. Wait a minute, why do you have that card? Instant Fusion. What, what's, what's going on here? This isn't your deck? What is this? I've, I've seen your deck before. You don't have Scrap Beast. Flower Wolf! Okay, you do have that card, actually. Uh, I'm sorry, no, but it, it's just a cool card. You can have that card. Flower Wolf is a great card from uh, Forbidden Memory Era. And we got a level 9 Synchro for Nechiria Beast. Yep, that is a card he actually used. And yeah, there's your super rare summon, Nechiria Beast. Look at me down like I'm a piece of meat. Uh, I'm not liking this situation. Alright, you gonna attack me now? What happens if I make you lose on your turn? Thunder Unicorn attacks. Okay, I'll go with the good old-fashioned Magic Cylinder. And you don't have the life points to survive a magic cylinder, so you die. <laughs> and I win the duel. However, if the fields get to stay the same, I don't know, Misaki had no monsters left over, which kind of sucks for me. Uh, wow, that's my first opponent turn finish? An effect damage only bonus? Okay, cool. Free, free bonus money. I'll take it. I couldn't pull it off. In fact, you lost, but you if you summon a Cheerio Beast and you get to keep it, I'm in trouble. Cooper defeated Andre. Both teams are down to their last member. All right, John is the leader for a reason. This guy is a damn good duelist. Even in my AI tournaments, John has gotten second place multiple times. He's actually a pretty damn good duelist. Granted, he's going to have a Neo deck from now on, but uh, that's... Uh, you've probably already seen it. This is the end, folks. The final duel will decide the match. It is still his deck. It's just better. All right, Team Unicorn versus me. I hope he doesn't get to keep Naturia Beast on top of that Unicorn because that was a little too far. That was a little too fuck. <laughs> uh, at least he has no speed counters, right? That's totally what's happening. And I... Oh, he gets to go... Why is Magic Cylinder just face up? Is the game glitched? I don't think Magic Cylinder is supposed to be face up like that. I'm pretty sure that's not how things work in this... 
We got a problem here? Because <laughs> I don't want to have that on the field the entire time. I don't, don't make me waste an MST on it. Is the game actually glitched because I won in that sort of way and they did not program, like, a way around that? Please tell me. the game. Like, I know maybe he just needs a lot of time to think. Please tell me I could use Magic Cylinder again because it's still there. That would be hilarious. Nope, it's just stuck. Yay, that's my favorite. I love that. Okay, I don't. This is bad. Ah, moving four speed counters. What does this one do again? This is Graceful Charity. I do want Graceful Charity. Oh, this sucks. This actually sucks. Okay, I'm in a very bad spot um, with this hand. I could have said both Raigeki Breaks and kept my monster alive, but I'm still upset. I'm so, I don't like that I lost a Spell or Trap Card Zone for no reason. That doesn't make any sense. But I can live without Breaker as long as this guy hasn't got anything else up his sleeve, which he probably does. He has a full-ass hand. I'm working with scraps right now. There is that one for one if I can get up to four speed counters, but when I'm, I'm only at three now, right? Or I'm about to be at three? Let's find out. I hope that guy has to reset. Did not get. Oh, I'm at seven speed counters. That changes everything. Seven speed counters makes this a good game. I'm going to MST. Does the game recognize my. It does recognize my magic cylinder. That is super weird. <laughs> it's such a weird thing. All right, Horn of the ba Phantom Beast. I'm destroying it before it becomes a problem. If I had tried to fight that man, his 3K monster would have killed me. So Masaki... Oh, yeah, the graveyards get replaced, so I couldn't gain light monsters in. Well, now that I know I have seven, I shouldn't have thrown away Graceful Charity. Where does it say how many speed counters I have? Is it on the bottom screen or top screen, technically? It does. Damn it. It's so tiny. It's such a tiny screen for me that I couldn't see it. And I could just look down, but that's not what I'm going to do. One level four dark machine from your graveyard. I don't currently have that. It's effects are negated. None of that matters. Chaos Sorcerer. I might end up using Chaos Sorcerer for this. I don't have a level one monster. So thanks for leaving me one for one when it's completely useless. I mean, I guess maybe it's bait, but so is that magic cylinder. Let's see what this guy's got. Right now I'm in a bad situation. I should have kept that speed spell. I just didn't know how many speed counters I had. Uh, which I should have noticed during the beginning of the duel, but I didn't, so... Let's just pretend like everything's okay. Because if I Graceful Charity, I probably could have summoned Chaos Sorcerer instead of being in this situation where... It's about to get worse! It's actually about to get worse, holy crap. Please don't be x Air Vellum. Oh, Delta Flyer's not much better, actually. That card's really good. Okay, are we gonna have to try out, uh, try out the Tricorn? Am I about to take on the Lightning Tricorn? I mean, you would think he's just gonna... Oh, what is he doing? Why would you make that one level 6? That's weird. Instant fe Oh, because you can already make the monster. It doesn't even matter. Oh my god. My opponent's field is just stacked. Why didn't I set a monster? <laughs> it's like... Wait, Cooper, why didn't you set a monster? That's a damn good point. Why didn't I set a monster? I have 7,700 life points to mess with. Maybe that's why. No, it's not why. I have no idea why I didn't do it either. Uh, well, that's a massive Synchro Summon for the boss monster Lightning Tricorn on top of already having Thunder Unicorn and a monster with 1800 attack. My life points are not looking too good right now. And Giant Rat, yes, of course. Giant Rat was on the field the whole time, which is just a god tier card right there. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna take a risk that there's gonna be a light monster going to the grave at some point. Luckily, there's no monster for him to target after I kill Tricorn. I will take a ton of damage. That's like 5,400 damage right there. But 54 plus 28, how much would I have taken in total? 50, that's 8k. He would have done 8,000 damage to me in one turn if I didn't do what I just did. So, at least I'm still alive, but that Graceful Charity misplay is huge. And I don't think I can win the duel now, which is not good. I, I really wanted to win this duel. But, I'm going to bet that I draw a speed spell. And then I'm going to do everything I can to use that spell. But yeah, my current deck doesn't have a level 1 monster, so it's... Ah, really? If I had this one turn earlier, I could have comboed with Black Salvo instead, and then I would have made a level 7 Synchro... Oh my god. This game sucks. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously, but this game hates me. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go to battle phase. Let's just destroy this little monster over here. Oh, you know what? Screw me. Let's just go, go ahead. Just end the duel. Just end the duel. I'll try again. I'll try again. Just end the duel. 
I'll play better next time with Graceful Charity, even though I still had to get through a giant rat, you had a lightning tricorn in your back pocket, and th there was probably more. Let's be honest, there was probably more. Ooh, baby. Oh, hi, Egotistical Ape. Decrease the level of the monster by 2 to level 3, which means he can make a level 7 monster like the Voltic Bicorn, which would show me every single uh, unicorn monster, which would be funny at least. Nope, you just want to beat me. That's fine. Just, just hit me. Hit me twice. So, Jean, you are clearly a damn good duelist, and I'm going to have to play for real against you. Next time, I'm going to look at the top screen, which is technically the bottom screen for you guys. I'm going to look at the top screen to find out how many speed counters I have, because it's hiding right next to where it says battle phase. Which is, uh... Look, if I look down, it's not that tiny, but if I look over there, it's super tiny, and I try to look over there in case of a disconnect. Alright, we have lost, which means we the real ending of the story is Team Unicorn goes to the finals. Nope, this doesn't happen. Team Unicorns goes to the finals, everybody. Don't worry about it. We'll watch their story from now on. Alright, I don't really need that Chiron card I found earlier, so let's just dive back in. Oh, I'm gonna have to watch the cutscene again, aren't I? Yeah, I'm ready. Look, my deck could do it. I actually could have won that duel, maybe. If I Graceful Charitied, I would have thrown away a Machine Monster, and then I would have gone Black Salvo. We Synchro Summon into a Light Monster. That Light Monster gets us Chaos Sorcerer later in case we lose the Light Monster to Lightning Tricorn. Chaos Sorcerer gets rid of the Tricorn, and then uh, we uh, gets rid of the Unicorn and the Tricorn or whatever. And then we deal with the rest um, with our Trap Cards. Yes. Yes, I could have won that. So, yes, we already know how this is going to go. Is there no skip button? Oh, my God, there better be a skip button. Are you serious? Are you serious? We're going to... This is just like the last game where I have to go through the cutscenes all over again. This is the one thing you didn't fix. There's no start button after you watch the cutscene the first time. I guess, how would the game know that? I mean, they don't really know how you, when you lose. There are certain games that know when you lose, and they count how many times you've died. Looking at you, Undertale. But let's, uh... Let's not... Oh my god. I already know how this duel goes, unless the duel completely changes. If that happens, then I'm a lot more interested in this. But now I know Asaki's gonna leave me a one-for-one, one, which is useless. I mean, granted, I could just throw a level one monster in my deck. If I have one I can think of. I can't really think of one that I want. Um, but I could do that. Or I could just not. Brio's deck destruction has dest destroyed our friend. We already know this. Come on, game. Give me another shot. Give me a real shot. Masaki, go kick Brio's butt and then almost beat Andre. Like, you left Andre pretty low for me where a magic cylinder won me the duel. Toro, I can't beat Jean and Andre, okay? Like, literally, Jean leaves him a field with a level 9 monster and a level 5 monster. Both synchros. And unless I destroy them ahead of time, I guess I could destroy them ahead of time. Good point. That way, my opponent has nothing to work with. But then again, my opponent started with an instant fusion and a, a tuner monster. So, I'm pretty sure no matter what I do, he's going to get another big one. So, go ahead. We got Misaki taking out Brio. That's great. And then we're going to see Andre take out Misaki. Barely. He lives with 2,000 life points, which means he's Duelist Kingdom level. And then after we defeat uh, Andre, because there's no way I can lose to a guy with 2k life points. I pray that's not possible. It might be possible. I mean, my last hand was doable. I just needed to pay more attention. Okay, what amazing card plays, yada yada, Andre shakes off Misaki. And Misaki has failed us. That's what you get for using a Thunder deck. Thunder decks suck. No, I'm not talking about new age, new age Thunder decks. But back in the day, Thunder decks, there were none. They were all terrible. Literally anything... Oh, shit, it happened, I saw. See, this is why I watched that screen and not the bottom one. Um, New age Thunder decks uh, completely suck. Oh, <laughs> he's just like, he just appeared. That was kind of funny. He just, like, popped into existence there. Uh, new, I mean, old age Thunder decks don't, didn't even really exist. Unless you count Battery Men and, like, like whatever Misaki's using, Watts, if you really count 5Ds as old age. I guess it is old now, but for me, it's new. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, I see. The start is the same. What was his face down again? It was, like, a possum or some shit? Yeah, I think it was, like, a possum. Oh, Graceful Charity again. Really? Game? What is, what is up with this thing today? It's having some real trouble. Alright, so I could Graceful Charity, which is not the worst play in the world, because do I even need speed counters? Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to pay four speed counters. Looks like I'm out of counters now. I'm going to throw away my level two Apprentice Magician. And then I'm going to summon my Junk Synchron, most likely. Yeah, let's go ahead and summon Junk Synchron. And then with Junk Synchron, we're going to go in and get our Apprentice Magician back. 
That's why you gotta love Graceful Charity. That effect is negated, so it does not matter. We're going to Synchro Summon. Seeing as we're going to be taking on a lot of opponents, it might be a good idea to heal instead of going for Junk Warrior. So I'm going to go for my healing monster, plus it just has more attack points and I like that. Yeah, the more attack I have, the better I feel. Now I am out of speed counters, so that means I can't use any spell or tra uh, spell cards, which is a little annoying. So let's go ahead and get rid of the unicorn early. We don't want our next opponent to have it. Granted, putting it in the grave is not good in, in, uh, right now. Wait, I just noticed there's a Nacheria Leodrite that got removed from play. What the hell happened in his duel with Misaki? I bet you if I look at his grave, I could put it together. Let's, let's take a peek. Uh, yeah, a lot of synchros happen. Raikou, he runs Raikou. Didn't know that. I'm glad I checked. Now I know about Raikou. I'll keep this in my hand for now in case I want to use Speed World for burn. Because I am putting him pretty low. But I have to be a little worried. So let's go ahead and get our life points to, gr uh, to grow. Because if we can carry over life points, we're going to bully the crap out of uh, our next opponent, John. But knowing that John's going to have a brand new hand, it kind of scares me. So let's let this guy combo. Like, he has a whole hand. Which, that doesn't make sense. Why does my opponent have uh, pretty much a four-card hand when he beat uh, Misaki? Are you saying he had that much left over when he won? Even though he's like, oh, you almost beat me. Or did he intentionally have that much left over because he wanted to win with a lot? That makes more sense, actually. So, Magical Android, we need more monsters. We know one of those is a possum, which does not matter. I'm saving Rekeki Break for the next guy. Let's start building speed counters while I have the chance. There's Instant Fusion. Now I don't have to keep shrinking my hand, which is good. Um, Old Vindictive or Mechanical Man? Let's go Mechanical Man. I want to have a strong field, after all. So we're going to go ahead and let Mechanical Man destroy the possum, just because we know it's there and it's killable. Um, let's assume the other monster is going to be something annoying, like a rat. It's probably a rat. I hope it's not a rat. Let's find out. It's a rat. Yeah, I kind of already knew. I could have killed him with Raigeki Break, but now we're doing it this way. At least I get to heal by going this route. And worst case scenario, I could use my Shrink if he does some crazy synchro play on me. And the Shrink might even end the duel if he's weak enough. So let's go ahead and set Shrink, because we now have enough counters to use it, and MST, so we have two choices. Or I could just not use any and start saving up more counters. Let's heal 600 more life points, because I have one Psychic on the field. So far, just letting Andre live in order to make the duel easier in the next fight. He's up to seven speed counters, and the fact that your friend gets to keep the speed counters means I could be putting myself in actual danger by letting him do that. Unless he uses them all to draw one card right now, which actually would help me in the end. No, he's not going to. He's going for Thunder Unicorn again sense. Thunder Unicorn has the ability to lower my, my monster's attack points. It's actually not a bad card. So Thunder Unicorn with uh, its ability is going to make me lose 500 attack. Which means he could take down Magical Android, which is why we have Shrink. Or I can Raigeki, but Raigeki Break has different value, which I kind of want. Yeah, let's go with Shrink. I don't care about speed counters anymore. Who needs speed? In a speed duel, not me. All right, so he's going to attack, hopefully, Magical Man, and then I'm going to activate Shrink. Shrink will do its job by putting this guy down to 1,100 using most of my speed counters. I might get back to two. And then I'm going to leave the field wide open, which means I will not have to worry about anything. My opponent won't have any trap cards to, uh, or anything to worry about. He'll just be a regular guy. I hope that thing is not permanent. My, I get my attack points back, right? Uh-oh. Oh, yay! He used all his speed counters. Okay, I like that. That's actually really good for me. And he shows that he had instant fusion the whole time. Ragaki Break, you might come in handy. Let's see if he's gonna... He didn't even set... You left your friend with nothing? You actually did that. That's... That's... That's really mean. <laughs> I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna lie. That is a really mean play. That makes no sense. I can... I can set up Apprentice Magician. And I can attack for game. All right, this is a way better setup, and I'm gonna start treating all these speed, or all these trio duels like this, unless they make me fight three opponents because my partner sucked that bad. But Team Unicorn's really good. Team Unicorn should have beat uh, Team 5Ds in the show. So, yeah, all the other teams, yeah, Team Team 5Ds beat them no problem. But Team Unicorn should have won the whole tournament, in my opinion, even though they're using a unicorn deck, a brony deck. All right, you could not pull it off. Bring out John. I know I can beat him. Cooper has to be at Andre. Both teams are down to their last members. Wait, did Cooper spend time healing off of you, Andre? You failed me. All right. John's pretending like it's how he planned it, but no. I'm healed. I have an old vindictive magician waiting for you. I have magical Android that will continue to heal me. I don't think you have any chance, sir. 
I've never been in this tough a spot before, but Team Unicorn will emerge victorious. Prove it. I'm right here. Stop me. I know you already did once in a different reality, but we don't live in that reality. So I got my three cards back, Speed World's back. He's got no speed counters because his friend used them all, which means I have even more speed counters. Granted, two is enough to use certain spells. I don't know if it, Instant Fusion costs three, though, so yeah. Oh, you need three. So he can't even use Instant Fusion this turn. He has to wait till next turn, which means he might have a combo next turn, which means I should try to knock him out as quickly as possible. So, Jean, what are you going to do? I don't know why it takes him so long to think. He has no... Like, I understood the first time because there were cards on the field that why'd you go to battle phase? John? <laughs> John? What's going on with you? Are you okay? Are you good? You're just gonna set? Okay. Okay. Wait, weird to wait till main phase two to set and get a trap card on the field. Very weird, dude. Very weird. Uh, just in case, I am going to use my speed counters. Like I said, I don't care about speed. Speed doesn't even matter. And using these speed counters, I'm going to get rid of your possible trap problem. Yeah, I'm glad I hit that. The last time, the first time I told you guys you had Mirror Force, so this time around, I was like, I'm not going to hold back. Uh, pretty good hand on my part, actually. Yeah, I don't have enough speed counters for instant fusion, but screw it. I don't even care. Uh, I'm going to flip Old Vindictive. I know I'm using an option kind of early, but I don't think anyone cares. We're just going for the damage. Uh, let's see how much. We hit Giant Rat. That's huge. That is actually huge. And now, if I summon Hyper Synchron, we can go for a Synchro Summon. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and Synchro Summon. I want to summon... My strongest card would be Thought Ruler Archfiend. But, if I summon this monster... Hold up. How much attack do I gain with you? I gained 800 attacks, so I'll have 3,800. That ain't bad. Or I could synchro a 2,600 attack point monster because Old Vindictive doesn't really have that many attack points to work with, and I think I lose my dragon afterwards. So yeah, I'm going to go with Gaia because I can't win on this turn. I don't think I win on this turn. So yeah, we're going to go with good old Gaia. We're going to synchro these two together. It's not going to get a power boost, which is fine. He's not Guy the Dragon Champion, sadly. He's Guy a Knight the Force of Earth. Which is a cool monster, just not what I needed. We're going to go ahead and do 26. I know little Yugi in my new AI tournaments, my Neo tournaments, is using that card, so he's doing pretty good. And we're going to do a ton of damage to Jean in one turn while I'm still all healed. And even though he has enough for instant fusion now, I kept Rageki Break, so... Because I kept Rageki Break this whole time, I can't exactly see myself losing. Even though I don't have that Guy a Knight. I don't think. I thought Hyper Secret made it go away after the turn. Is it only if I summon a dragon? Hmm. Who knows? I might have learned something new today. So, are you going to play Instant Fusion? You had it last duel. And I have it this duel, so I assume you have it as well. Come on. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. You don't need to... Don't need to think this long, and don't don't go to battle phase and main phase two again. That shows me how dumb your AI was. Come on, just stop. Okay, well, if you want to lose that quickly. Now, last duel you got Mirror Force on. If you get a trap card again, I'm going to destroy it. You didn't even get a trap, so I'm going to show you that the duel's already over. By using this card's effect, I could throw away Apprentice Magician and destroy your monster. Whatever it may have been. Elephant the Elephant. That's a shame. All right, we're going to draw Graceful Charity, basically. I actually can use it just for fun. I already won. I'm not even going to need to use it. Let's just win. So, yeah, I don't lose my monster as long as it's not a dragon. That's something I learned today. And I ended up beating Team Unicorn with 9,800 life points. I feel like a big man. <laughs> Let's just uh, cut out that part where I lost and then not tell anybody about it. That'll that'll help. Now, you guys get to see the failures. This is Casual Cooper, not Competitive Cooper. Or Lies Cooper. Snaky. All right, let's see what they say after their loss. I can't believe we lost in the very first match. I can't believe either. You guys are really good. It's all over. Team Twilight comes uh, from behind to win it. They had defeated Team Unicorn, a team they thought was uh, favored to win this whole tournament. Hell yeah, we did. Great job, Cooper. What an awesome comeback. We probably could have won just with you two. That's not true. We all could... I don't know about that, Misaki. I mean, you did damage to Andre. Maybe he did damage to Brio that I don't know about, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe he did. Our win today was good, but the second race is tomorrow. We'll be up against Team Catastrophe. Which one's... 
I don't remember Keen Team Catastrophe. Like, at all. The next day. Well, I'm gonna... Hey, what's up, Dad? I'm gonna talk to you in a bit, but right now I'm gonna save the game. And that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I wanna thank you all for watching. Next episode, we're taking on Team Catastrophe. A team I do remember the name of because I think they were, like, taking out other teams. But, like, I don't remember actually... I didn't know they would be doable. Alright, see y'all next time. Bye-bye.